welcome to today's messy house transformation. This is a complete disaster cleaning and we're going to be doing a real life messy house clean with me because as you can see my house is trashed and needs some serious cleaning up. If you're new here, I'm Becca. I'm a mom to three boys and a military spouse, and I post cleaning content over here on this channel. And I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join the family. If you need a lot of cleaning motivation, I always jam pack my videos with real life cleaning. I keep everything 100% honest over here. I don't try and hide the mess. I don't clean up before I do my videos. I don't do anything like that that would make you feel like my house is not in its true form of living with five people in it. So if you like real life messes and complete disasters and just real honest mom content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the family. As you can tell today, we are starting off in my bedroom. I really needed to wash my sheets and my children's playroom is right outside my bedroom door so a lot of the toys end up migrating into my room because at the end of the night we usually lay in bed and watch some cartoons before they have to go off to bed and a lot of the times you know they will go out there grab some toys bring them in so a lot of them end up in my room also my room was so dusty it has been a while since i've gotten in here and really been able to deep clean it so we are doing that today Per usual, there is a load of laundry in the dryer and before we can switch the sheets, we obviously have to take that out. My rule of thumb is always once it comes out of the dryer, it gets folded. So we will also work on folding this laundry as well. If you ever feel alone, cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone in a second. One of my baskets in my room was starting to overflow, so I figured I might as well start this load. My motto with doing laundry and how I stay on top of it is usually just to do the loads as the baskets are full. So my younger boys, when their basket is full, I do their laundry. I have three baskets in my room, and as they each get full, I do the laundry. I do laundry almost every day. There are a few times where a few baskets will fill at the same time, so then I'll do a few loads that day, and then I'll have a couple days off from doing laundry. But that's just kind of how I run it in my house. I find that it's easier to do that way rather than trying to set it on a schedule. It feels more like a daunting task that I have to do. Whereas when I see that a basket's full, I'm like, oh, let me toss this in the wash. I don't know, it just, for somehow, for some reason, it gives me more peace of mind doing it that way. I would love to hear what your laundry routine is down in the comments down below. If you have one, if you don't have one, what is your kind of go-to for laundry? Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like a mirror you reflect me I just don't want this I just don't want this 
Now we're moving on to my master bathroom. This bathroom was disgusting. It was it was far past needing to be clean. My husband has been working late nights, so he sleeps in. So I've been getting ready in other bathrooms in our house. So typically my vanity doesn't get very dirty because I'm just using it for, you know, like quick cleanup at nighttime or whatever. But the shower was gross. The Van my husband's vanity was gross. Everything just needed a really good deep clean in this bathroom. And my shower, I typically clean while I'm in the shower because I hate cleaning the shower and it just makes it feel less daunting and less of a task if I clean it in the shower. So I made sure to clean it that night in the shower because it was, y'all, it was bad. <laughs> I also just wanted to let those of you know who are commenting down below today is actually my birthday so when you're seeing this video I will be out with some friends and with the family and celebrating and just enjoying a peaceful day off on my birthday so you will not hear from me for probably a day or two while I'm trying to catch up tomorrow and the next day on all of the comments but I wanted you to know that I'm not ignoring anybody. I try really hard to get back to comments as often as I can, but today I'm just gonna check out and take the day off. So if you don't hear from me for a little while, that is why, but I hope you all are having a wonderful weekend nonetheless. You make me lonely when I'm by myself. I should be free, but I'm to each other i know we feel the same about the situation like we're stuck inside a game time to get out of this circle yeah we both carry a scar as you write the part we're playing time to cherish who we are the only thing i ever wanted starts with us taking the chance not like anything we've done before oh oh yeah so I knew the day after this that I was going to be mopping the other bathrooms in the house and 
Usually when I steam mop the bathrooms, I just do them all at once instead of, you know, having to mess around with it, you know, multiple days in a row. So I figured today I would just give this bathroom a quick vacuum and then tomorrow when I steam mop the other bathroom, I will go ahead and do this one as well. I also almost forgot that I wanted to wipe down the shower doors. I just take a microfiber cloth and I get it wet and it just cleans them all spotless. It just gets all like the water spots and everything off of it and makes them look nice and fresh and clean. Again, I do the same thing with all the mirrors in the house and the microfiber cloth doesn't leave any streaks on it. So just leaves it looking really nice. The first step is always hard when you walk out of the doorway, but that's just the place to start. The only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance. Not like anything we've done before. Oh, oh, yeah. Now it's time for something better. And time for us to follow. Now, time to get to the laundry that I had pulled out of the dryer while we wait for the sheets to dry. Just curious, do any of you have big plans for the holiday? Are you traveling? Are you going to see family that maybe doesn't live close to you? Do you have family coming in to you? What are y'all's plans for the holiday? What makes the holiday so special for you? I'm gonna take all of the clothes that are hang dry and just hang them up in here in my closet so that it's easy to kind of organize them and put them away whenever they are all done drying. Now we have nice, fresh, clean sheets and a clean bathroom. I'm going to make this bed, hop in the shower, clean the shower, and get out and lay in my nice, clean sheets right out of the shower. I think that's one of the best feelings, and I know a lot of you agree with me. It just feels so good to get out of the shower, be all fresh and clean, and get in a nice, clean bed. It's just, it's such a comforting and cozy feeling.
Now we're moving on to day two and I really needed to get this kitchen situated. Just a mess. The kitchen, I try to stay on top of it and for the most part I do, but there's always that few days out of the week that are so jam packed busy and we're just trying to survive and it gets really messy. And this was one of those times. So we're gonna get it back in order and get it all cleaned up again. A lot of the times our dishes will get backed up because there'll be clean dishes in the dishwasher. And I don't know about you guys, but my dishwasher, even when I put it on the drying setting, it doesn't completely dry out my dishes. So what I will do is I will open the dishwasher and let everything dry out for about a half a day or so for a few hours, however long it needs, just so that we're not putting wet cups and wet bowls and wet you know plates in the cabinets because of course with the wood cabinets I worry that we're gonna ruin them or you know leave the ring marks from the water or whatever so I try to make sure that everything dries and then of course on top of it it's a chore that my older son has and he is in school during the day so a lot of the times I'll leave it for him when he gets out of school and our sink will fill up by the end of the day it'll be completely full if we haven't been staying on top of it so a lot of the times that's why our dishes are always so out of control. I really wanted to get all of the island cleared off. There was a lot of junk that was just kind of sitting over here that didn't really belong here. We do catch a lot of stuff on this island. It's kind of a catch-all zone. And then the bar area on the other island is also a catch-all zone. Those two areas are always kind of jam-packed with stuff by the end of the day. It doesn't matter how busy the day was or anything. There's always stuff all over those areas. Those are just two areas in my house that are always cluttered. What are the two, three, four, however many areas you have, where are your catch-all zones?
Now we are moving on to the boys' bathroom upstairs because all of the bathrooms recently have been neglected. If you didn't see my last cleaning video, I actually posted a bonus cleaning video last Thursday, so a few days ago, and it's a decently long video. It's not as long as my usual Sunday videos, but it's still 20 minutes long, and it's jam-packed with me cleaning the guest room, the guest bathroom, or the downstairs bathroom because our uh, house guest actually moved out. Her house was ready, so she was moving out. So I figured I would get in there and really deep clean that area. And that bathroom also just needed a good deep clean as well because we all were using that bathroom since it's the downstairs one. But if you missed that video, I will link it in the description box down below. Be sure to go check that out next, especially if you need more cleaning motivation after this. That one is also jam packed, so. Now we are going to clean the last bathroom in the house and for once in a while, all of the bathrooms will be spotless at the same time. I did want you to know too that I am working on getting a bonus video out for next Thursday as well. I think for the next few weeks or however long, every now and then I'm gonna put out a bonus video when I can on Thursdays. So feel free to come back on Thursdays and check in on my channel, see if there's been a video posted or even on Friday, see if there's been a video posted. I'm trying to get back into the routine of posting maybe two videos a week over here. I'm just kind of feeling it out and seeing how well it does. So if you need the extra motivation, be sure to come on over on Thursdays and check out those videos. I just wanna get out of here. I find it so hard to breathe. Cause when you get too close, I lose my way and I freeze. I wish you knew. I don't know if it's just all kids or if it's just because I have all boys, but their toilet is always disgusting. No matter how often I clean it, it's just always gross. So this thing needed a good deep clean, a good scrubbing, and it feels very refreshing now to see it nice and clean. And of course, as always, we are going to steam up the bathrooms because in my head, that is the only way that we are gonna get this area sanitized and cleaned to the fullest. Why don't we say that it's too late for us now? Why do we stay when I blame you for the things that weigh me down?
Now, if you remember yesterday, I left a load in the dryer and this is that load. And on this day, I wanted to clean all of the steam mop pads because all of them were dirty, which speaking of which, if you have a steam mop, go ahead and buy more pads off Amazon whenever you need them. That's what I do. And I buy like a generic brand. I don't buy the Bissell ones. I just buy ones that fit my steam mop for really inexpensive. I go ahead and buy new ones like every six months to a year, depending on how bad they are. Uh, Cause they do stain very easily because of the cloth consistency. Even when I wash them and bleach them and stuff, sometimes they still have like a tinge on them and it, I don't know, it just bugs me. Even though I know they're clean, it still just bugs me. So I do go ahead and just purchase new ones all the time on Amazon and they're so inexpensive. You can get a pack of like four for under $20, they're so inexpensive. So instead of going like the Bissell route where it'd probably be way more expensive, I usually just do that. It's been a very long time since I've vacuumed my closet. I'm just curious, how often do you vacuum your closet? Because I feel like it's one of those areas where nobody really does it that often. It's just like out of sight, out of mind. So I figured I would get in here and give it a quick vacuum. Moving on to the stairs, I really wanted to get these stairs cleaned up. We actually had somebody come and work on our HVAC system. It was not working properly this week, so somebody came and every time they come, they pull down the uh, attic and it always leaves stuff like all over the stairs and all over the place. So I really needed to give this area a good vacuum. With that being said, I want to thank you so much for choosing to click on this video today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a ton of cleaning motivation. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye! you